Hello everyone, my guest today is David Pullman. He's always making money online. All the way back since school, he started his professional career as a cooperative student at former 120,000 person HP with stops in Europe and California. Later on, he started as employee number one and took over the growth part to further bootstrap Bilby to a seven and more figure SaaS company, now working as the MD for revenue and operations. David, you ready to take us to the top? Yes, I am. Thank you. All right. So just to be clear, you're working full time at Billby.io as MD. Do you have equity in the company? Or are you considered a co-founder? Um, we have uh, VSO. Sorry. So um, I've, I have virtual stock options. So no, no equity, but um, yeah, it's only virtual. Yeah. Okay, great. That's helpful to understand. So tell us about the company. What's the company do? And are you pure play SaaS? How do you make, how do you guys make money? Yeah, we are actually pure SaaS. We're a yeah, typical B2B SaaS application for small and micro businesses who sell their stuff online. So we are in the field of e-commerce and um, lots of our users um, yeah, just sell on Amazon, eBay, Shopify and all this kind of stuff. And we do all the back-end processes like invoicing, shipping, um, yeah, inventory, yeah, stock level syncing and all this kind of stuff. So we, we see ourselves as some kind of toolkit for multi-channel e-commerce would say. When did the company launch? Uh, we started in 2015. Okay. And now today on average, what are these small businesses paying you to use your technology? Um, we have a ARPU of like 17 a month. Okay. And, and um, the, the bandwidth is very high from starting from zero, a few cents until yeah, a couple of hundred euros. And, and okay, so yeah, big bandwidth, but average is $17 yeah. per month. Yeah, Take yeah. me back to 2015, though. How did you guys get your first 100 customers? Um, we've been in a very niche market. Um, there's a platform called Davanda, which is the German clone of Etsy. And um, we started especially in the DIY area for e-commerce. And there was a big community. And we really started off with the DIY community. And there was only one tool to generate invoices. And uh, this was Bilby at this time. Interesting. So it was really easy to, to get the first hundred customers in the, yeah, very, and very how, niche. And how many, expanded. how many customers now today? Um, we have a uh, little more than 9,000 paying customers. Okay. And, and, and yeah. what's enabling, I mean, when you say that they're processing things like payments through you as well, is there a percent of GMV model as well, or it's just pure SaaS? Um, yeah, actually, there, there's not a percentage of GMV volume, but we have a transaction-based pricing. So they pay us seven cents per order, which goes through the system in, in, in basic terms, let's say. And there are a few modules around it, which which yeah, which lead to some upselling. Yeah, but basically, it's seven cent per order. Why did you choose to go that route instead of just charging a percent of of total sales that they put through the platform? Yeah, that's that's a good question. I think it's some kind of historical how we how we decided to go with the orders and um yeah also even if you sell very high cost product it doesn't mean you have a high margin and and vice versa so you could sell something for two euro and have 1.5 euro margin and and the other way around so yeah that's why i think we've decided to go with a per order pricing instead of a percentage pricing interesting so nine thousand customers 17 dollars per month how much are you doing per month in revenue um we do uh 180k around pure, pure SaaS. um so 2.2 million yearly and if that's and, what you're doing um, today little... what were you doing exactly one year ago uh, in sep that's the, this was this September exactly, and um, September before it was. Let me just check it out. I have the numbers here. I think, um, yeah, probably we've grown by by seventy percent. So, um, yeah. So you're doing about a hundred thousand dollars a month a year ago. Exactly, what, around a hundred thousand, little less than a hundred thousand k. Yeah. 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 Very good. Great growth. Where and talk to me. Have you guys bootstrapped this, or did you guys raise capital? Oh, no, it's completely bootstrapped. Yeah, no, I love no funding, no, no, yeah, no. I debt. love that. That's great. Are you guys profitable today? Or are you or are you break even? Um, we're profitable. We are twenty five to thirty k per month. So, yeah, that's great. So you sort we of always, that. We always we always try try to um, stick to the rule of forty, but also have both both KPIs above ten percent. So we do not fall want to fall below 10% profit. 
Yep. And rule of 40 takes basically your profit plus your growth. And what you're saying is you want to be above 10% both on year on year overall growth and you're well north of that. You're at 70% and you want your profitability every to also be above 10%. Exactly. Yeah. That's great. Um, tell me more about the team. How many folks on the team today? Um, we're at 20. Yeah. How many engineers? Eight, around eight. Eight. Yeah. And any quota carrying sales reps or no? Um, no, we do not do any sales at all. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And walk me, you know, churn is critical in a SaaS company, especially selling to SMBs. What's your churn look like? Um, annual churn is like 13%, so gross churn. Um, but um, we have a lot of expansion. So net revenue retention is actually above 100%. It's around 101, 102% or so. Got it. So you churn 13%, you expand by 14 to 15%, net revenue retention 102%. Exactly, yeah. And you started off in these niche sort of Etsy, the German competitor Etsy sort of sites, the DIY space. How are you getting customers today? Um, yeah, it's really a lot of word of mouth. We are, we're focusing on the German speaking region as of now. So we're quite, yeah, quite known within the German speaking region, within the e-commerce area, I would say. Um, but also we get all our, yeah, referrals, which are not word of mouth referrals from our partners, which are, um, the, the e-commerce systems like Shopify, WooCommerce, uh, yeah, Magento, Amazon, eBay, all these, all these players have their own app stores or plugin stores or, or partner sites where we integrate with. And that's the, yeah, by far the biggest source of, of new leads and new signups. You're I think integrated we're around, you're in- at, at around, go ahead. We are at around a thousand signups a month and yeah, more than a half of it is really referred by, by our partners. 1,000 free signups or new paid customers? Free, free signups. How many convert to paid each year, each month? Uh, 25 to, to 35, so one third, round about. Oh, you got it. So you're getting to between 200 and 300 new customers per month? Yes, exactly. Um, interesting. Of all the app stores you're uh, integrated with, which one drives you the most new referrals per month? What do you guess? I would guess Shopify. Yeah, by far, yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, any talks to, to, uh, for Shopify to acquire you guys? Not yet, <laughs> and, but we actually don't want to. So why, why is that? We are, we are fine. I think. <laughs> why is that? Yeah. At, at the moment, we really feel the, the freedom of being bootstrapped and having a profitable company, which yeah, really produces some, some cash and yeah, just makes fun to work with. And yeah, we, this year we, we introduced, um, remote, remote first. So we are canceled all offices. We also introduced 30 hour full-time work week, uh, while keeping pay. So, uh, yeah, a few things you probably could do with, uh, some, some capital behind you. <laughs> so what are you spending? I, I get a lot of your stuff is from referral partners, but when you do spend money, what is your fully weighted CAC to get a new $17 a month customer? Yeah, it's difficult to count because the only cost we really can associate with it is commissions and yeah, maybe some, some ads budget, but we do very few performance marketing. And, um, so CAC is probably a few hundred, few hundred bucks, maybe 150 to 180 bucks or so. Mm-hmm. Interesting. What is the, com- when you say commission, you mean the, you mean the commission you pay to Shopify to their app exchange? For example. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is how much? Uh, with Shopify, it's 25%. Got it. Got it. Very good. All right. This is good stuff. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, favorite business book? Um, Scaling Up by Vern Harnish. Number two, David, is there a CEO you're following or studying right now? Mm, maybe the guy from Lambus, Jillian. Jillian. Can't, from, can't spell his name, to be honest. From where? From from Lamlist. Jillian, oh, from, from, uh, Lam, from Lamlist. Uh, Guillaume. Yeah. 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 Yeah, number, I mean, yeah. Number two, uh, is there a uh, what's your favorite online tool for building your company? Um, Leapsum. Say it again. Leapsum. L e a p sum. Yeah. Number four. It's some kind hours? of employee employee engagement or so. Yeah. How many hours of sleep do you get every night? Seven to eight. And what's your situation? Married, single, kids? Um, married, one kid. Okay, and how old are you? Um, I'm 29. 29. Last question. What's something you wish you knew when you were 20? 
quit the job earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there you have it. Bilby.io started selling early on to DIYers in the German competitor Shopify sort of app exchange. This was back in uh, you know a couple of years ago, 2015, they launched. They were doing about 1.2 million in terms of run rate a year ago, now doing 2.2 million in terms of run rate. They've got over 9,000 customers paying on average $17 per month. They are profitable. Every month, they take about twenty dollars to $25,000 to the bottom line, also growing nicely. And they're doing all this completely bootstrapped, which we love. Team of 20 people, eight engineers. Churn is 13%, expansion 15% for 102% net revenue retention. CAC payback period, super healthy as they look to continue to scale. David, thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you. Have a good one, Nathan. Bye. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares backend dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.